What's up, everybody? It's another day in paradise, and it's actually kind of a nice day today. I've, you know, normally sunshine is great, but today is overcast. And it's kind of nice to just get a break from the heat. So what we have today is a compromised cherry tree. It's not super compromised, but uh, we're gonna probably put a chain on it just in case. It's, it's pretty decent, pretty decent sized tree for what it is anyway. But we got a porter wrap down there. We don't need GRCS for today. Here it is. It's this side will be super straightforward and easy. We got this little cherry tree here to look out for. Uh, this side's kind of tangled up in the maple, so that'll be a little bit more of a struggle. But thankfully, it is no cleanup, which is awesome. So here's the compromised portion of this tree. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It looks like somebody's been living in here. Let's see, especially the way this is wounded out here. It's been had a couple couple generations of tenants. We'll go ahead and we'll string a log chain with a chain and binder up there just to give ourselves a little bit of extra precaution. I think it'll be, be okay. I think it'll be okay enough for me to climb it anyway. Oh, these chains are heavy, but they are, I don't know, I feel better about them in straps. They're just more durable. Oh, I got stuck in my rope, of course. Alrighty, that ought to be tight enough. We'll see if that holds up. I wonder if this will end up being slack by the end of this job being done. We'll see, sometimes they work like that. All righty, we got a ring point set up up there, our tying point above it, which isn't great, but it's the, you know, it's what we're gonna do for today. This is gonna be our first limb, nice and easy, not too big. We're gonna swing it right down out of there. Should go exactly to plan. Looky there. Nice work, Ken. Alrighty, now on this one, I got the rope tied up a little bit higher to kind of help support it because it leans out this way and we want it to fit through that hole over there. So I'm gonna point the hinge and hopefully the rope will help support the hinge and kind of bring it on around down through there and uh, we'll let Ken take care of it from there. So Ken, why don't you go ahead and sweat that line pretty good if you could for us. <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh. Yep, we're good. It got hung up just a little bit, but then it eventually came off. Doesn't help that we're dealing with silver maple stuff right up our butts here. Nice. Look how nice that hinge was. You know who would be proud of this, or at least who would care? Osage John. He's a guy that I've worked with and done a couple videos with. I think the last tree we did together, he was commenting on how my hinges were sometimes not the straightest. And I was just out of pure laziness, you know? Well, sometimes it had strategy, but most of the time it was laziness. And so, this one's for you, John. I'm getting better, don't you worry. Alrighty, we're on the other side of the tree, uh, well, the side of this side of the tree now. And we're gonna swing this limb down out of here. It's gonna just brush this maple, these maple limbs. They're not real big. They're gonna bend out of the way and it'll be no problem. Up there might be a little more struggle, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> Worked out nice. I love when we shake the whole tree. It means we're loading the tree good and uniform and everything like that. Makes me happy. All right, so we got this top up here. It's actually not that bad. It's gonna come down just fine. We're not gonna tear up this maple at all. We are a little bit higher than our ring point and that's, you know, a little, little scandalous, you could say. Ken's all wrapped up down there. He's ready to go, so let me tuck this tail out of the way. We'll go ahead and cut it off. <laughs> Nice. 
Nice, Ken. If you guys ever find yourselves in a spot where you've got this, you know, the spar that's leaned out hard and you have another tie-in point somewhere else, it's actually the easiest to be on like the side of it, not on the top of it. You know, it might be intuitive to be on the top of it, but then your rope's wrapping around, going behind you, and that's not good. And this, this position is super stable. I'm very comfortable and it's just, it's way easier to be on the side, or in this case, I'm actually slightly below it. Anywhere on the side is like, almost always gonna be better than on the top, in my opinion. The exception would be when this thing gets leaned out way hard and have to use all your core muscles, then it kind of gets old kind of fast. Okay, so on this piece here, it kind of leans back this way, but there's a lot of maple brush over here and I want it to go that way. So I'm gonna put the face cut in it below this union so I've got a little more meat to work with. I'm gonna try and get it to fall out that way and let the rope bring it back around. Probably could get this down without a rope on it, but it's one of those situations where I'd rather be safe than sorry and I always make the most mistakes when I'm free falling stuff, so. If there's ever a question, when in doubt, rope it out is my motto. <laughs> Okay, then we're gonna get onto this side to make the back cut, so that way we don't have this rope going over our heads. And then, Ken, I'm gonna need you to let this go just a little bit as it comes off the cut, because okay. for it to come off, it's gotta pull on the rope a little bit. Yep. So. scared about the rope coming down because it didn't go as far as I thought it would that way. <laughs> Got scared of the rope coming down on a stub there and doing something wrong. That was less than perfect. Room for improvement there. Flat as a pancake. Yes, sir. P pancake. Pancake <laughs> is what I meant. Alrighty, we're on the other side of the tree now here. And we're out on this limb because it's out over this cherry tree. We're gonna swing these two things down and then probably the log. It's gonna be pretty sweet and pretty smooth. Anticipated it. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. Better that than the other way. Where are we going? There we go. Yeah. Here we go. This one's going by airmail. Perfect. All right, we got this log tied on midway then, or at least approximately there. It doesn't have to be balanced real perfect. I'll jump over to our cut spot and we'll get Ken on the porter wrap down there. Ready for a rig. Here we go. Nice done. Headache, headache, headache. <laughs> Whoa! Come on. <laughs> that was, that was close. I guess it wasn't close. It actually hit you. You okay? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Three rafts was too much. That's okay. That's okay. Should have cut that dead stub off a long time ago. I didn't even notice it was over there. That's I guess. Right. Get out of here. 
All right, we just got that limb off down there and I came back up. We were rigging right up from right above this union. I had the rope, you know, cross this union with a ring and a, a block. And I had to move the ring up to here to get this top out in a small enough piece because it leans straight into that silver maple union over there. And I didn't want to get hung up or go tearing things up. So we're gonna take a little bit smaller. I am gonna try and get it to go a little bit that way too. Hopefully that'll help. So Ken, you can go ahead and sweat the rope down there. I would try to cinch it up as good as you can because I don't want any yep. extra slack in this than we gotta have. Now we'll see how it goes. It's kind of a kind of a goofy top. Nothing crazy, just kind of funny looking. Alrighty. You ready? Send it. There we go. Nice. It brushed hard over there, but I don't think we lost any limbs, so uh -huh. we got lucky. We got lucky. Lucky ducky. And just for a little test, how, uh, whoo, how, yep, that's burning. We'll send this top nice and big. So many beeping GoPros, I can't tell what's what. <laughs> oh, that was me. Shut no, it no. off. You're, you're good, you're good. I just didn't know I pushed mine about the same time. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to land flat. Kind of don't feel confident about it because it's leaning. <laughs> flat, but it was shaped like a banana. Here we go. Perfect. Just that, the way I love it. That was nice. Come on. Probably didn't get something cut all the way off in there. Flat. Our chain got loose here. Not really doing anything. I guess I'll go ahead and take it off. Probably got loose when we took the weight out of that first side. Alrighty, so we got this lead mostly cleaned off. I just dropped a few branches there. It wasn't anything exciting, so don't don't think you missed something. But now I've got this limb that reaches all the way out here and then up, and it's as high as the top is. And it's just over towards this tree, so we can't just, you know, sail it and hope for the best. There's that hedge down there we want to protect. And also this tree in general, we don't want to tear it up. I got it tied on probably a little bit closer to me than midway, but it'll be fine. It'll work just good enough for what we need to do. We're gonna swing it down through here and then Ken will be able to drop it through that window in there. It'll be good. We got the rope, the ring rope is under our climbing line. That's very important, you know. <laughs> Champion. Lay down. Oh, Gonna have to get you a raise, Ken. <laughs> Ken's the one paying me. That's why this is a joke. Alrighty, then we can just send this in a couple of chunks, free fall into the ground. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Very nice, happy with that. I'm gonna run to the truck and grab the rope jack. Oh, okay, perfect. Look at that, Ken's getting ready to topple the tree all already. Okay, so we got this top all tied up. It's probably not as big as the other one was because I already took some of it off just to make sure it went the way we wanted it to. And, uh, but it's still 15 or 20 feet. You ready down there, Ken? Yes, sir. Excellent. Oh yeah. Smidge too long. All right, big saw time. Thank you. Nice. What? Alrighty, we got our pull rope installed. I just need to jump down and hold over. Alrighty guys, this is our pull rope setup. We got it anchored up there in the tree, it comes down the rope jack and the way I like to set this up and it doesn't work for every scenario but I think it's really handy when it does work is come down from the tree go through a block come back up to the rope jack I use a bullet on a bite just because I like that knot for midline stuff and then we latch the rope jack back onto that other leg of rope and that produces some mechanical advantage and you don't have to worry about tending the tail because if there's not something pulling the tail out of this thing you gotta sit there and pull it out manually that's the way that I like to set this up you do gotta watch out though, if your rope's on a super steep angle or if you gotta go really far with it, like on a back cleaner, you'll find out that this device ends up too high and you can't reach it and all that stuff. She's hanging on there a little bit. Yeah, my, uh, I don't think my notch or my corners lined up really. Oh, it'll be fine. They were really close if they weren't quite enough. I think I can get it by pulling sideways now. Ah, oh, yeah. That definitely broke that union up a little bit. <laughs> I could, can't, can't really see it here, but. You could see in the way it moved, those two sides were independent. That'd make a nice log for somebody. It's not even hollow. I thought the base would be hollow. That's a good hinge. I think I think you might your, your little little indicator. But yeah, look, that's like dead nuts right there. Ah, that's pretty wood. It is. It's a shame it's not worth as much as it was. 
All right, that's about it. Now it's time to pack up and get out of here before the homeowner changes their mind about the cleanup part of the job. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Today's work was for Sentinel Tree Surgery. Uh, that's Ken's company. He's got this super cool truck. It's an old Aspen truck that he painted up to make look super nice. And uh, that's actually how I found him. I saw him doing work in my neighborhood and I stopped by to say hi and say his truck was super cool and let him know that if he needed any help anytime, I'm available for contract work and He's, he's kept me you know, fairly busy since then, so it's, it's been great. You saw his ground, uh, ground man skills today, so you can see why I don't complain about working for him. If you have any, any work you need help with in the Masson, Ohio area, I'm sure he'd be happy to help you, so go ahead and give him a call if you need some help there. So thank you so much again for watching. If you haven't subscribed, you should definitely consider it. And if you think this video earned it, go ahead and hit that like button. We'd greatly appreciate it. Hope to catch you on the next one.